Close your eyes and breathe easy. Think of the body being open to the breath. So as you breathe in, it's coming in not only into the lungs, but going through the whole nervous system. The whole body is breathing. When the Buddha talks about the breath, he's not talking about the air coming in and out the nose. He's talking about the movement of energy in the body. So focus on that. Where do you feel it? And think of it being expansive, wide open. You're creating a good place for yourself here inside. So the mind can settle down. You want to settle down here in the present moment so you can watch it. Because the decisions of the mind, the choices of the mind, its intentions, those are the things that shape your life. And where are they being made? They're being made right here. You can't see a past intention in action or a future intention, but you can watch your intentions right now. And you'll learn a lot by watching them. Because sometimes things that are skillful have things that are unskillful sneaking inside them. And if you're not really paying careful attention here, you won't be able to see that. All you see is the surface. It looks nice on the surface. But inside there may be something that's not quite right. If you're really well settled here, with a sense of well-being, so you're not hungry to go after whatever comes up in the mind, then you can see which intentions really are skillful and which ones are not. You make up your mind you're going to work, <coughs> excuse me, you can act only on the skillful ones. And that way you take control of your life. We live with one another. We want to make sure that we act on skillful intentions all the time with one another, because otherwise it becomes our karma. So before something comes out of your mouth, something comes out of your actions, even before a thought gets clearly formed in the mind, you want to ask yourself, where is this going? What will it lead to? Learn to exercise some restraint over the things that are not going to lead to in a good direction. And open the door wide to things that will lead in a good direction. The Buddha himself said that he got on the path to awakening, starting with this decision that if any thought came in that was going to be unskillful, he would hold it in check. As for thoughts that would be unskillful, he would hold them in check. As for skillful thoughts, he'd give them wide range. But even then, you could think skillful thoughts for a whole day and it gets you tired. So it's good to settle down and have some time just with the breath so the mind can get a chance to rest and have a sense of well-being, a sense of being complete inside without any sense of anything lacking. When you have that sense of completeness, then you're a lot less likely to go after things that you know are unskillful. And you're more willing to keep an eye out for anything unskillful that you're not quite sure about. This way you can, you can control of your life. And the way you deal with other people will not cause any, any recrimination, not cause any hardship. So we can live together peacefully in this world. If each person were to be responsible for his or her own actions like this, the world would be a much better place. But you can't take responsibility for other people's actions. And for a lot of, a lot of us, we're not even responsible for our own actions. But that's where we can exercise responsibility. So this is how you do it, with a sense of well-being, so that the chore is not onerous. That's a good w job to have, looking after your mind. It's the best work there is in the world. <laughs>